again, Maleficent, that's an intimidating chick right there. So I don't blame the guy for leaving the game. But um, let's see what else we got in store with this team. I want to get a full game going. All right, so all right, so we got you know a pretty goddamn standard team that we're going up against. Um, we got Scizor, Heatran, Keldeo, Thunder. I mean, excuse me, Tornadus. Oh, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> Tornadus, Landorus, and Thunderus. He's got both of them. Hmm. Now Victini would be able to recreate you if you come in, Bolt Strike you if you come in, recreate you, Brick Break you, recreate you, recreate you. Victini, you are the optimal choice. Let's go. He's going to go into Scizors. Now, of course, the V create is so damn obvious, but the switch to Heat Ran is also equally as obvious. So, do I predict the switch to Heat Ran and just go for a Brick Break? I want to do that really badly. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. He goes into Heat Ran. Sure enough, Brick Break critical. Oh, that was a crit. Damn. That that only did like only did like what 55%, and that was a critical hit. I wish Victini had a stronger physical fighting move option other than Brick Break, but that's what we got to deal with. It's all a good. Let's go for another one. Fuck it. This guy can't really do anything to us, can he? Other than Earth Power. Oh, Stealth Rocks. Okay. I figured he was either gonna Stealth Rock or maybe he was going to um. I don't know, I mean, Stealth Rock seemed like the most optimal choice, so that's why I figured another Brick Break wouldn't hurt. But now, the Age of Slash Switch is really damn obvious, so I feel like going into somebody to threaten that. Unless he goes for another, unless he goes for a Fire Move. Does he Does he care about losing Heat Ran at this point? I don't know if he cares or not. I really have no idea if he really cares or not. But you know what, we're gonna go for... Yeah, let's go for Maleficent. Maleficent. Predicting the Age of Slash to come in. And sure enough, Age of Slash comes on in. There we go. All right, so this is actually good, but I'm concerned because, like you guys know, they they always can carry either Shadow Ball or Shadow Sneak, and you know they they can run a mix set pretty damn well. So I'm scared of that. I'm extremely scared of that, to be honest with you. Let's protect and see what he wants to do. In fact, no, let's go for. Let's go. Oh well, too late. The game took him to protect. Okay, he's gonna go for the Sword Dance. We'll be able to take the Shadow Sneak though. Go for the Willow. Ooh, took the Shadow Sneak. Get burned. Very good. All right, so Age of Slash is crippled here. Let's protect and see if we can get some HP from this bitch. Um, so we got our leftovers going. Um, I think Age of Slash would naturally be faster than Maleficent, but... Yeah, he would naturally be faster, so his Shadow Sneak will outspeed us. But will his Shadow Sneak be able to kill us? That's the question. Leech Seed, fuck it. Damn, critical hit? Come on, dogs. That was so convenient. So convenient. Oh my god, man. All right. Now I'm seeing this as an optimal time to go into Sashimi here. Sashimi, because um, we got the uh, the earthquakes. We got them. We got them earthquakes. So he's not going to be able to. Um, He's not going to be able to hit us with a um, King Shield. So you know what, let's go for the Mega Evolution and go for the DD. I mean, the Mega Evolution, the Dark Typing, I think... No, that wouldn't help against Keldeo. That would not help against Keldeo. Maybe we should stay regular Gyarados. Yeah, let's stay regular Gyarados. Okay, Shadow Sneak ain't going to do shit. Oh man. We can go for one more goddamn... But then again, no, he's got Thunderous out there, so that could be an issue. The Thunderous comes in and Thunder Waves me, that'll be it. But I feel like a cocky bitch right now, to be honest with you guys. Um, his Shadow Sneak did 23%, so we can substitute up. Oh, and we, ooh! Ooh, let's go Sashimi! Okay, so we gotta, drag, we gotta substitute. By the way, this is the first time, you guys are witnessing the first time that I've ever used Substitute on any of my Pokemon, ever since I started playing competitive Pokemon. I've hated the move Substitute ever since I learned about how you can use it to abuse in competitive play, so I kind of had a policy of staying away from it, but you know what? Times change, and you know, I'm trying to like get over some of my old hangups with Pokemon because you know, I, I, can't, I can't be closed my about this shit, so you know what? I'm using Substitute now, yay, Etika. You know, I'm, I'm a stubborn bastard. You guys know this better than anything, so I, I see this as an accomplishment on my part. But um, okay, so we can go for another DD here. We'll be able to live the Shadow Sneak. We'll definitely be able to live it. Oh, we're comfortable right now. We are comfortable. Ooh, we let's go. We got two Dragon Dances. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, let's go for the EQ. 
I don't think the Mega Evolution is necessary at this point. Because Keldeo is a thing, man. I mean, I want to be able to... Then again, we're at such a low HP amount. We might as well just say fuck it and go for the Mega Evolution once Keldeo comes in. Because we're not going to be able to live a Sacred Sword at that point anyways. Even if we do have the Flying Typing on our side. So, there's no, there's no sacrifice that's worth it there. We might as well just get the extra damage off and go for the Mega Evolution after this turn. I should have done it this turn, but I mean... Actually, you know what? Nah, that's, it doesn't make a difference. Aegislash is going to die either way. Unless he thinks of something to do, or someone to switch into. No one wants to take a plus two Earthquake right now, though. Oh boy. Okay, so here comes Thunderous. But um, we can go for this Mega Evolution now and just go for the Waterfall. The Thunder Wave is coming, but hey. I just gotta keep my fingers crossed and hope that Gyarados can break through that shit. And if he can, then yay, we will be solid. That prankster T-Wave, man. Thunderous. I've used one a couple of times on some of my teams. It's an amazing Pokemon to have on your side, man. It really is. I mean, because even if, you know, my Gyarados is about to rampage through this bitch, and this guy, he's going to be able to slow me down right away, Thunderous works amazingly in competitive play. To be honest, I somewhat prefer Thunderous regular over Thunderous T because Thunderous T, I mean, sure, he has the added power, and the Volt Absorb is an amazing ability for him to have, but... That prankster lost though, and he has lower speed in theory and form. Therefore, is it really worth it giving a prankster for those benefits? In some cases, it can be. I've seen them run with agility and totally decimate squads. That's happened to me before. And you know, I usually sleep on agility, but on Thunderous T, it works amazingly because the guy has so much goddamn attacking power. One agility, he's outspeeding everything, he's a problem. I mean, I've seen Ampharos try to um, mimic the set in their mega form by using agility, but it never come, it never works out as well as it does with Thunderous T because Am Mega Ampharos, even after an agility, this dude is still slow as hell. Like you can still outspeed him with a slow bro, man. It's it's sad. Oh, he doesn't go for the. He has a focus sash. This crafty bastard. <laughs> Who has a focus sash on Thunderous? What am I looking at here? I, you got it, dog. <laughs> you got it, dog. Oh man, okay. A focus dash thunderous. I totally was wrapping him up. It's over. Boom. Goodbye, nigga. It's done. But nah, I'm. Wow. I want to send Victini in and just straight up blow him away, but them stealth rocks are going to be a hindrance here. I want to go into Scrafty. But I won't appreciate taking a Thunderbolt to the face like that. But then again, Victini won't appreciate taking Stealth Rocks. But at the end of the day, the, um, the Stealth Rock damage is more acceptable than having Scrappy take a ton of damage from a Thunderbolt. So you know what? It's okay. It's alright. Now I can see uh, who, who would want to come in. Keldeo would want to come in. Bolt Strike. But then again, he might predict... I don't know, he might predict that I'm predicting his Keldeo to come in and go into his Landorus, but I think I'm thinking a bit too far into this shit for that kind of stuff to happen. So I'm just going to play it relatively safe. I mean, playing it super safe would be to go for the V-Create, but the, you know, we got Heat Ran out there. Then again, he runs at 16%, which, um... He won't be able to take the bolt. The, he won't be able to take the bolt strike either. Only thing I can see him really doing here is either going into Lando. Oh, he's gonna T wave, you bastard! Holy shit! Thunderous man. I'm not. I'm. I don't even. I'm not even fucking mad. I mean, I'm just like, damn. I should have seen that shit coming. But the but the para hacks though. Did that really need to happen, guys? I don't think that needed to happen. The para hacks on top of everything else. I already had the card stacked against me enough, and, and that shit just didn't help one bit, man. I, all right, I'm in a bit of a pickle now because he has a lot of options here now. He can save his Thunderous if he really wants to, and, you know, someone's still going to have to take some damage here, but now I just pretty much lost, lost my Choice Scarfer. Damn, man, I just lost my goddamn Choice Scarfer, who would have been immensely helpful, but now it's, it's pretty much going to be fodder. I just lost an attacker, just like that. Thunderous, man. Just like that. And look at this. Look at this. Oh my god! Two Parahacks in a row? Who makes this game? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Miyamoto. Miyamoto, you better work on that goddamn hack. 
sucks, man, because this is fucking bull. This is bull. Oh my god, man. And it, now he's gonna finish me off with this. This is so stupid. <laughs> Miyamoto, why? Why? <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this. Oh man, this is hilarious though. The game ain't never over, man. I was just, I was counting off how many ways I could have his asshole for lunch. No homo. <laughs> I was counting off the ways I could have his asshole for lunch. And, and now I get surprised that this guy's got one HP left. Dude has a sliver left. He's got a sliver, dude. Alright, um, might as well go into the ante. He's gonna T-wave me anyways. Oh man. Oh you. <laughs> oh you. Stealth cock. Oh my god, this bitch! <laughs> he has taunt! Taunt Thunderwave Thunderbolt! Oh shit! What a bastard! What a bastard! I feel like going for the Diamond Storm, but he's probably gonna go into Keldeo here. He's probably gonna go into fucking Keldeo, and if he does. I got a problem on my hands because Scrafty can't take shit from Keldeo, Tentacruel can't take shit from Keldeo. It's not looking good for your boy right now. <laughs> he just, this Thunderous just changed how the battle was going to turn out. He just changed it. If my Victini would have been able to kill the guy, but the, he got two para hats in a row. Two of them. That ruined everything. Victini would have run a train. Or at least you know, gotten the damn thing on the tracks. I can't do shit now. <laughs> God damn. Oh, this is this is why I love this game and hate it at the same time. Because you never know where shit's gonna go. An outcome like this, I would have never foresaw, man. Ten minutes ago, I was a young lad counting down ways I could win this game. And now, I'm a bitch <laughs> waiting to get fucked. <laughs> God damn it. This is so stupid. Oh, man. Victini. Victini, you didn't deserve that. The little Victini that could, man. God damn, dude. I didn't realize that. I didn't. I didn't realize that the possibility of two power hacks in a row could have just totally steamrolled any hopes I had to win this game. I mean, the game ain't over yet. I mean, there's still a chance, I guess. I guess there's still a chance. You know, I mean, you can't count me out yet. If this guy plays stupid, I could potentially win. But right now, if he's playing on his P's and Q's. There ain't much of a chance for me because that Keldeo, that Keldeo is going to wrap shit up. If I was able to somehow kill that Keldeo, I could potentially work him out because I have Tentacruel who could potentially give a threat to Scizor because it has, my Tentacruel has max special attack. It could give a threat definitely to Heatran. It could definitely give a threat to Lando. But Keldeo is the only thing that stands in my way right now. And this thing going for the Sacred Sword will totally decimate my um, Scrafty, so I have to somehow figure out a way to kill this Keldeo with my Tentacruel. If we can kill this Keldeo with Tentacruel, then we could potentially try to see if we can grab this game back. But right now, it's not looking too good for us. But, you know, the hope is still there. I mean, it's flattened as hell, but it still exists, so we can try to see if we can pull this one through. This guy only has a few seconds left to do something, though. I, bet, I hope he doesn't quit, because I hope he doesn't quit, because this is a good game, actually. <laughs> I really want to see if I can come back from this shit. He's got 60 seconds left. Let's hope he comes back soon, because, you know, I, I want to see where this shit is going to go. I want to see if I can really snatch this back from the jaws of defeat. Come on, dude. Come on, what are you waiting for? Is he, like, getting a blowjob or something? Like, come on, man. All right, here we go. So he goes into his scissor, which is not good for us at all. This is probably going to be his motherfucking mega. And the bullet punch is going to rip Deancey's head off, so we gonna have to um, we gonna have to go into Tentacruel and just hope we can work him out with the hydro pumps. I mean, there's nothing that Scizor can really do to Tentacruel. I'm strong against all his staff, so he's gonna go for it. Oh, he's gonna go for the sword dance. Here we go. The bug bite shouldn't be doing too much, but god damn it. Hydro pump this bitch. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be able to take that too well. Oh, of course you miss! Oh my god! Scissor one hit KO Tentacruel! With a bug bite! Not very effective, my dick! Well, it's it's looking like it's not gonna be good here. This isn't looking good at all, man. I ain't liking these odds, man. <laughs> oh man, okay, so um let's just go for the DD. 
I mean, it's pretty much makes no difference at this point. He's going to be able to bullet punch himself to victory. You know, straight up fourth gen style. Damn, man. Two power hacks in a row totally ruined any chance I had to win this game. The game was decided as soon as I saw that second power hacks. Yup, that was it. That was it. Although, technically, even if I managed to kill the um, Thunderous the first time, my Victini would have had some HP left. If I had killed that Thunderous, look, think about it like this, guys. Some of you may say that the power hacks didn't matter, Thunderous was going to die anyways, and you still would have had a crippled Victini. No, because if the Thunderous had died, and I didn't get power hacks, I would have had max HP. Well, full HP with my Victini. My, H my, my HP would have been at 100%. And now, think about this, now, now with my HP being at 100%, I could have potentially taken hits from Heatran and definitely Scizor. I mean, maybe I wouldn't take those hits well, but I'd be able to survive a hit with them at least and then go for a V-Create or something to take out either Scizor or Heatran. I would have had an option left because Vitini would have still been at full HP. So you can't say that the power hacks didn't matter because they definitely did. I would have had a healthy Victini, sure paralyzed, but would have been able to take a hit. Nonetheless, if that goddamn power hack didn't happen. Oh, I caught a fly in my goddamn hands. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You can't see it. Of course you can't see it. But yeah. Okay, this guy has 10 seconds left. Are you really gonna give me the game over some bullshit, dude? Get back here and make your choice. This is a really fucking good game, too. I mean, he probably, he, he, he definitely won it at this point, but... Hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna argue if the guy stays away. I mean, I don't really care about laddering too much at the moment. I just care about, you know, playing. But hey, we won the battle, yeah. <laughs> we won, guys. We did it. You see, it's never over till it's over. <laughs> this is a fucked up life lesson. Kids, don't give up. Because <laughs> you never know when your opponent might disappear from beating your ass. Damn it. Oh, God.